Okay guys, so this is a kind of a, a video just about the stuff I got for my birthday this year. Um, the main gift I got was this. This is a, my Kindle. It's a Kindle I've got. Kindle... Kindle Backlight, I think it's called. Something like that. Got a few books on it already. Um, at the moment I downloaded Frankenstein, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, um, The War of the Worlds, Time Machine, and The Lost World. That's The Lost World by uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, that, just to let you know. I'll start with some other things, like this. Doctor Who mug. Disappearing TARDIS mug. A hot cup of coffee transports the TARDIS into deep space. Never, I haven't tried that out just yet. I'll start with some of the. I'll start with games actually. First game I got was um, Injustice: Gods Among Us. This is a fighting game involving um, the DC DC superheroes. This is the game I've been playing on the most. I completed the story, completed the the classic battle mode with all characters. I've even got all the down, current downloadable characters for it. So maps, oh, it's an amazing game. I'm, I'm a big comic book fan, so I love this, you know, comic book things. My favourite fighters in it, uh, my favourite fighter um, would be Green Lantern, right there. And my favourite vi villain in it is probably Black Adam. Really like, I'm a real big fan of Black Adam. Rage, this has been out for a couple of years. 2010, I think this came out. Maybe 2011? 2011, yeah. A couple of years. Um, this is a very good game. It's like half... Uh, it's an action first-person shooter game. But there's kind of role-playing elements in it as well. Which I'll play on that one quite a bit. Crisis 3. I've played a little bit on this. I'm a big fan of, this, of Crisis 2. Very similar. I've played a little bit. Really good. So far. The Last of Us, again, this is a game that's been heavily praised for its artistic, you know, artistic style. I've played on it a little bit, but not a huge amount. Um, it's quite a good game, though, for what I've seen so far of it. Um, now we've got the DVDs. Um, season 2 of Falling Skies. Real cool science fiction TV series. Cloud Atlas, I haven't seen this one yet. Heard a lot about it though. Lincoln, I've seen this. This is a this is a really good film by Abraham Lincoln. Um, mostly got it because it was one of the only Oscar winning films this year I really was interested in watching. Daniel Day Lewis won you know the Best Actor Oscar for this film. Oz the Great and Powerful, I haven't seen this one yet. My sister's seen it though, she says it's very good. It's kind of a prequel to The Wizard of Oz. G.I. Joe Retaliation. I've seen the first film. I was interested in seeing this one. Um, Horrible Histories. Now this actually isn't the live action Horrible Histories that's on the like, BBC. This is one that, well I didn't actually tell them to get this. My parents bought them. My mum and um, someone bought this for me but it's not actually the live action one that's on television right now it's an animated one with these two characters right here what are they called Stitch and Ma you know this is another one I didn't tell them to get but I'm, I'm glad they got me this one great wildlife moments I like wildlife and animals and everything these DVDs I got the other day I haven't seen any of these yet. Bigfoot Tapes. It's a kind of a first person, not first person, it's kind of a documentary, one of those, you know, one of those um, found footage kind of films. I don't know about anyone else, if you look at that front cover though, doesn't it look like, doesn't it look like, um, doesn't it kind of remind you of um, Troll Hunter? Of Troll Hunter? It's a very good film, that one, Troll Hunter. I haven't seen that one yet, but it seems like a bit of a rip off or. Might be all right. Child's Play 3. This is one of the only Child's Play films I haven't got. Uh, I've got Child's Play 1 and 2. Um, 
as haven't seen this yet. As of yet, I haven't got Bride of Chucky or Seed of Chucky yet either. Not so sure about them because they kind of turned to comedies after that. Well, technically, they kind of turned to comedies at yeah, this one, from what I've heard. The Nightmare on Elm Street remake. I've been meaning to get this for a while. It's been out for about three years now. I still have, I haven't seen it. Um, I'll probably do a one-off review of this. I haven't seen it yet, but I'll probably do a one-off review of this, just like I did the Friday the 13th remake. I'm looking forward to ruining that, though, even if I don't do or don't like it. Fireworld by Crystal Lacey. Now, this is actually a series of books. See that right there? That I've got in my cupboard over there in my wardrobe. But it's a series of books involving dragons and really good. They're kind of children's books, but I haven't yet read these two. I've read the other ones. Apart from the, I've read the other ones. I'm reading Dark Fire right now, which is the fifth book in the series. This is the book six and seven, the final two books. As of yet, I've not read them, but I want to read the whole series. So there's that one, Fire World, and the Fire Ascending. It's the finale books of that series. Now I've got another book. Oh, uh, this one is pretty funny. Bit of a funny one. Uh, the Banff of Collection Saucy Postcards. Now, some of my older viewers um, may remember, and if you're British, may remember a company called Banff. Banff did a lot of um, postcards, a lot of these real saucy postcards. And the main reason I got some of these, I'll go into this. The main reason I got this, they got, they, my, my grandma got me this book, was at her house. We were looking through some of my granddad's old stuff. And uh, we found a photo album with these uh, these Banff kind of postcards in them that my granddad had collected over the years. And I looked at them and I thought they were absolutely hilarious. There's a lot of innuendos and a lot of... Uh, that's my kind of humour though. I like I like innuendo kind of jokes. I know now it's kind of like, you know, not nobody would be outside the joke now. But that's why I like looking at... I like looking at... I like a lot of older comedy. I like this, and I like watching a lot of older comedies, such as, you know, The Two Ronnies, and um, The Likely Lads, and things like that. V for Vendetta, the graphic novel, this is a comic book, graphic novel. Um, I haven't yet read this all the way, I haven't yet read this, but I've wanted to read it for ages. Extremely influential, very good comic book. Um, I haven't yet read it, but I've read about it, about it, very good comic book by Alan Moore, who is a very influential comic book writer. Very adult themes. Game of Thrones, inside HBO's Game of Thrones. So this is the one about, you know, the making of Game of Thrones and the world of Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's a good quote. In the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Iron Man, the ultimate guide. Ultimate guide to Iron Man, telling you everything about him. Oh, bugger. And the Doctor Who visual dictionary telling you everything about Doctor Who. So that's everything I got for my birthday. Sorry I'm running out of tape. See you guys. Rock on.